Hey there everyone, Dr. Beth Westy here, and I wanted to talk about the biggest mistakes that women make when they're counting calories. Now counting calories is something that's really popular and it's something that people have recommended for a really long time, something people still talk about, but it is a really old, archaic way of measuring nutrients to try and help you be healthy, get to your goals, lose weight, all these things, right? It's also something that can be used and measured to try and gain weight or maintain weight, that type of a thing. Um, but when you're looking at your overall nutrition, calories does not tell you enough about the food that you're eating. Hi, Julie. So I am going to talk about nutrition and the nutrients you need to focus on for your body, your health, and to really get you to your goals. This is something I chat with women about all the time. When I, so I have a 12 week program where I take women through, you know, protein pacing, carb cycling, intermittent fasting, all tweaked and tailored specifically for women. We start our next round July 2nd. So if you are interested, you can either comment below or message me or I'll put a link below in the comments where you can schedule a call with me. If you're wondering this is the right thing for you or what more information about it, we can chat about that. So in this 12 week program, I have one of the hardest things that women have sort of a struggle with mentally when they first look at it is, oh my gosh, this is a lot of food. Whoa, 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 lady, you want me to eat all of this? Um, this coconut oil that you see on here, uh, do you know how many calories that is? Like there's this huge like fear going forward with it and I totally get it. The trouble with calories and the trouble with counting calories for that is that if you say you eat 1800 calories a day and then you drop it to 1500 calories to try and lose weight, well, you have to keep it there to maintain that weight. But if you get stressed out or if your hormones here get all out of whack, your body is going to store fat. Why? Because the male and female body is so different. And when the female body is stressed out, it gets really good at storing fat. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Great. Right? So great. So then what do you do? What do you do? Oh, I know what I'm going to do. I'm eating 1500 calories a day and my body's starting to store more. I'm going to drop it to 1300 calories a day. That, that's going to be great, right? Just a calorie restriction like that. It's not sustainable. It's not something you can keep doing long term. It's not something that's actually going to fuel your body. And most often, you know, you are going to get stuck in a rut where you're like, okay, uh, now I don't know where to go. I can't eat less and I already have no energy and I feel like garbage. Ugh. now what? Now what? I'm eating the same and now I'm gaining weight. You start gaining weight because you've trashed your metabolism now. And that is what really stressful on the body. So that's going to get your hormones out of whack. That's going to cause all these other issues. It's just this fun cycle. It's just this, so, such a fun cycle for women to go through. Yay. But it's something that's so common and it happens all the time. And then in terms of eating more, women get really nervous about eating more because that's not something that's been recommended or that means that they're going to gain weight. So when we talk about that, I'm gonna, I'll talk about nutrition and then I'll talk about how to stop that cycle or how to go through what I call reverse dieting to get your metabolism fixed and to really work on being able to fuel your body and burn the fuel that you're eating. So overall though, in terms of counting calories, you wanna count nutrients. How much protein, how, many, how much fat, and how much carb are you getting every day? I say this all the time, but like 100 calories of gummy bears is not the same as 100 calories of almonds. Two totally different things, totally different things, seriously. And they're going to have a different reaction in the body. Gummy bears are sugars. They're going to burn up really, really quickly. Almonds, they have proteins, fats, and carbs in them. And they're going to give you sustained energy for a longer period of time. Mm -hmm. They're going to keep your blood sugars more even, everything, because they're a complete nutrient. Yay! <laughs> So when you're looking at just calorie intake, it is not going to be the most useful tool long term, right? And that's, that's something that gets women so, so stuck when you're focused on calorie. Oh, I need to eat more healthy fats, but those have a lot of calorie. I should eat more avocados, but did you see the calories in those? Oh my goodness. And a lot of the information that we get too, like you go to a restaurant and sometimes they'll say, oh, it has this many calories in it reinforcing that for you. There are certain, by the way, by the way, let me switch gears for just a second. 
there are certain times of the month women don't know this. So please share this with share this video, share this information, share this knowledge with every other woman that you know because it can be almost life saving in terms of making you feel like you're not crazy when there are some times of the month where you need more food, you need more nu nutrient, you need more calorie, you need just need more. You know, the day one is the first day of your period, right? Then then this towards the end, that last week, especially during this phase of your cycle, you need more nutrient in. It makes a really big difference in terms of fueling your body, getting to be the healthiest, strongest you. Oh, so with that, with, with calorie right there, yes. But so for women, counting calories, typically it doesn't work. It's not going to, you know, keep you going, keep your metabolism going. This is how fast you're going to burn these nutrients. So carbs get burned in about an hour. Proteins get burned two to three hours. Fats get burned by four hours. So that's why it's, you know, important that you're eating frequently too. I hear from women all the time. Oh, I'm only eating like breakfast that has 200 to 250 calories. Then I don't eat snacks because I don't want to eat between meals. That's too many calories for my day. And then I'm only eating lunch that has 300 calories. Da 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 da. I'm like, oh, come on. <laughs> that's not... That's not enough fuel for your body, right? So, when, say, so say you've been doing this. Say you've been, you know, counting calories and restricting everything and cutting everything down. <sighs> now what? Well, the first step is to start eating more. But it's not just eating more food, right? You want to eat clean. You want to eat healthy. You want to get nutrient in. So if you're eating a salad and you're like, this is a great salad because it's really healthy for me. Great. There could be a lot of greens and stuff in there. But where's the fuel, right? Where's the nutrient that's coming in? Where's the protein? Where's the healthy fats? And where's the carbs? Because a leaf of lettuce doesn't got a whole lot of nutrient to it. Mm -hmm. It's just a leaf. <laughs> that's it. That's it. So really think about that reverse dieting process, fueling your body, bringing up your metabolism. The biggest thing, so in my 12 week program, when I take women through this, it's so fascinating to watch them go through this, to watch them eat more and they start to see progress. It, it, it's incredible. I mean, women are like, oh my gosh, I'm going to blow up to be as big as a house. And, they're, they, and they don't. And they don't because their metabolism kicks in and starts to work for them. Now, women, men and women have a different weight loss process. So to say, oh, they start losing weight right away. No, that's not real. Anybody who tells you that's real, that's not a healthy thing to follow, by the way. No. But they're going to start to see and move towards the right types of results when, when they are fueling their body correctly and doing the correct reverse diet. It's amazing. Women that I work with in this program, they're like, oh my gosh. I was so worried about starting. Normally I'm really hungry and I feel like garbage when I, you know, after a couple of weeks, they're like, oh my gosh, I can't believe how much I'm eating. I feel full. I'm getting more energy. I'm sleeping more. And these inches are starting to come off my waist, but I can't believe this because I'm eating more than I have in years. What? How is this working? And it sounds crazy. And then they feel a little, you know, again, uncomfortable going through that process. But that's, again, why I guide them through that in the 12-week program I have. Uh, but it's amazing at what it does for your metabolism. And you get healthier and stronger. And that's the other thing with women overall. When we talk about reverse dieting, kicking up your metabolism, fueling your body, you have to flood the body with nutrients to get this to turn around. And, and the biggest thing going forward with women to make real progress is this, is that if your body's not healthy and strong and doesn't have good stamina, you're not gonna be able to get to a healthy you know, weight and stay there. It's just not, it's not gonna happen. <laughs> I know, I wish I could have like sunshine rainbows, here's a magic answer, but there's the magic answer. It's just not, right? You can't keep cutting things out. You can't keep taking shortcuts and everything else expecting to get to and maintain a lasting result. And that's what we're like, that's the information that's just like bombarded at us left and right for years. So again, some, a lot of women have a hard time hearing this. Um, and they have a really hard time going through the reverse dieting process mentally, physically, their bodies love it. Physically, it gives this amazing result. So that's a big key to kind of think about. Um, 
So when I talk about nutrition for hormones and everything else and getting more calorie here, this is gonna help you work with your body more, not fight against it. And again, in my 12 week program, I take women through this in detail to make sure you're implementing it correctly for you, your body, whatever else you're struggling with. A lot of women will have thyroid issues or PCOS or they'll be in perimenopause. And I have a whole program for women in menopause. So it's really important that you're applying the right nutrition for your body and where you're at in life. Um, I do talk a lot about this in my book, The Female Fat Solution. So this is on Amazon, um, but I dive into detail in different ways here than I do on my podcast, The Female Health Solution, or just in different videos I've done on Facebook um, and on my YouTube channel. But if there's any questions that you have, please don't hesitate to reach out. Please schedule a call. I'd be more than happy to answer any questions you have about you know, counting calories, how often you've tried it, <laughs> where to go if you are stuck and you're like, oh, I've done all the counting calories and now I don't know what to do or how to, how to get out of this rut that I'm stuck in. Um, so I'll put that link below and we can chat and go from there. All right, everybody have a great night.